Hello, hello, and welcome to the AMO Cooking Show. Today's recipe, um, and I'm very proud to do this recipe because it is with a big hunk of British beef. Um, I had the massive good fortune of a friend of mine, Spencer, told me, enter this competition at the British Chamber of Commerce um, for cooking a traditional roast dinner, British roast dinner. So I did, and I only came as one of the winners which um, kind of blown me away actually. And I got awarded this amazing prize, which was two and a half kilos of some of the best prime beef rib you'd probably ever see. And that is what I've cooked today. So I've cooked it as a bit of a roast dinner for the fam, um, lucky lockdown dinners and all that. And I'll walk you through the process of how I did it. So uh, watch on, enjoy this recipe. I feel extremely humbled and extremely fortunate to uh, receive such honor and award from the British Chamber of Commerce in Singapore. Um, and to receive this amazing hunk of meat, which we devoured today. It's beautiful. And I've cooked it in two ways. So a little bit of interest there. Please watch out. But of course I have to ask you, please, ding bells, like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications. And uh, I think that's about it, right? Um, yes, please, please do so. And tell me what you think of the Amo Cooking Show. Many kilos of this beautiful British beef which um, I haven't got a lot to do with it really I might just take this cap off it so the cap is just this fatty bit on the top you can basically take this and use it and melt it down and turn it into like yummy dripping and then use this for frying and stuff like that so I'm just going to take Bit of that off. So, okay, see that? And then just give this pat dry. And I mentioned half of this is going to go as a reverse sear, and half of it is going to be brined in some salty water. Look at that piece of meat, isn't that beautiful? So, half. Floor and I'm not following the uh, 10 second rule. Yeah. Check that out. Okay, this is why I hate my kitchen. Look at this. Look at it. I'm doing one bloody dish. I've got no room. Anyway, uh, this one I think I'm going to choose. Look at that sitting in my hallelujah scam pan. So this, all we're going to do with this is season it with salt and pepper. But first, look at this. It's like a very small bed of nails and you just give it a good stab in. All over. This is what all the hawk rifles use when they're doing their roast pork to basically get the salt into the pork, dry it out, and get cracked. Right. So all this does is it just penetrates the flesh a little bit. So you can see the holes, right? See that? See that? And it just basically lets the marinate, which in this instance is just salt and pepper. But it's a very special salt and pepper. It's Campo black pepper. So this is. UNESCO heritage pepper, believe it or not, from Cambodia. This is freshly cracked um, and quite a bit because this is a thick steak, right? So you want to get quite a bit on there. Notice I'm doing it dry as well. There's no no oil and then salt. Quite a bit of salt again because it's a thick steak. Over she goes. We've already punctured this one. So again, beautiful bit of the cracked black. Again, a fair bit. Looks a lot, doesn't it? And some salt. And then just get that on the edges. As well. On the edges. And then this is going to go in an oven at 100 degrees. Probably for about an hour hour 20, something like that, something of this thickness, okay? And that's it. How good does that look, eh? 
ready to rock. Okay, and that bad boy is going in there. All right, so I've got it on 120. Normally I do it around 100 degrees, but we're in a bit of a rush, 120. So it's still low and slow in my seasoned oven, as you can see, I cannot see. My seasoned oven, thank God. And there it is, in me scan pan. This is <coughs> about, I don't know, how long did that go? What was that, 120 for about an hour? Maybe not even that. So that is medium rare, that's the current time, and then I'm gonna dry fry this in me skillet to uh, give it a bit of charm. So I'm just letting it rest. for this one. Thank you very much to the British Chamber of Commerce Singapore for this beautiful donation. What we have done here is slow roasted it so you can see it's still very medium rare all the way through. And notice the pink to pink nature, as in the crust is there, but there's no brown bits around the outside. And that's what you get from low, slow, low and slow a la reverse searing. 